Today I'm going to show you some simple chemistry of thorium in its plus 4 oxidation state. Here are the chemicals we need. Thorium nitrate, sodium hydroxide, potassium iodate, oxalic acid, hydrogen peroxide, sulfuric acid, potassium hexacyanofluoride 2 and potassium chromate. First we prepare 6 thorium nitrate solutions using distilled water. Here's what happens in each one. When we add sodium hydroxide to the first solution, we immediately see a gelatinous white precipitate. The sodium hydroxide solution used is at most one molar. Adding potassium iodate to the second test tube results in a white flocculent precipitate. In the third test tube, we add oxalic acid and get a white precipitate that somewhat resembles a jellyfish. In the fourth test tube, we add 0.1 molar sulfuric acid and then 3% hydrogen peroxide. Initially nothing happens, but keep your eyes on the test tube as we proceed. The addition of potassium hexacyanofluoride to the fifth test tube instantly forms a milky white precipitate. In the sixth test tube, we initially attempted to create potassium dichromate with sulfuric acid and potassium chromate, but as it turns out, normal potassium chromate was used and we can clearly see a yellow precipitate. And of course, the crucial proof that this is indeed radioactive. Why such a video? Well, the literature often simply says colorless, poorly soluble salt. And as you can see, this can vary quite significantly. And I wanted to explore some thorium chemistry. Now let's cover some basics about thorium. Thorium metal has the electron configuration of Radon 6D2 7S2, which is quite unusual because you would expect 7S2 5F2 for an F block element. Thorium 4 plus only exists in strongly acidic solutions without hydroxide ions coordinated to it. At a pH of 3 or higher, we get the first hydroxothorium complexes. It polymerizes into larger complexes until it precipitates as a hydroxide or more precisely as an oxide due to its high oxygen affinity, above a pH of 7. Thorium in its plus 4 oxidation state is colorless. The paper from which I obtained this information is linked below. Here is what was prepared in each test tube. To the first test tube we prepared thorium oxide with sodium hydroxide. In the next test tube thorium iodate was precipitated, a crucial detection method for thorium. Thorium oxalate was formed which, while not specific to thorium, can be used to purify thorium salts. Thorium peroxisulfate was prepared and I found this compound interesting due to its resemblance to the urinal ion. The fifth test tube was used for thorium hexacyanofluoride, a somewhat exotic compound I think. Thorium chromate was created just to introduce some color in this video because all the other precipitates were just white. There are more water insoluble salts like thorium fluoride and thorium sulfide and all of them are listed in the paper. But this was just a brief glimpse into the chemistry of thorium 4 plus. A special thanks goes to the working group of analytics and fundamental nuclear chemistry from Dr. Erik Strupp and the division of nuclear chemistry at the University of Cologne and to my Patreons. With that being said, goodbye.